afternoon and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And I'm Nancy Ostrash. And today we're going to be making a date nut spice bread with um, orange flavored cream cheese. Correct. And bacon uh, cheddar cheese pin uh, pinwheels and a spice pumpkin cheesecake. We're going to start off today with Nancy baking her bread. Okay, I'm trying to redeem myself because if people watch kind of regularly, uh, uh, watch our show. The last show I made a banana bread with uh, cream cheese filling. I did not like it at all, the way it came out. And I think it was the first time in the two to three years that we've been cooking that there's something that I did not care for. This time I'm going to do a date nut, a, yes, a date nut spice bread with cream cheese on the side. So what you need to do first is you need two cups of uh, chopped dates that have been pitted or, or you buy them already chopped. You can chop them yourself or you can buy them already uh, That's chopped That's a better up. way. Buy them already chopped. chopped. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and you need it together. <laughs> You need about two cups, and the re a recipe. The recipe originally um, calls for marinating the uh, dates in a orange liqueur, like a triple sec. I don't have triple sec on hand, um, so what I did was I just poured a little orange juice over the uh, the dates that I'm using and have let them marinate for 20 to 30 minutes. I stir them around and so that they'll at least have a orange flavor to them. So that, that would, you would want to do that first. Now to start the bread, I have four tablespoons of butter or margarine that I've softened. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, light or dark, uh, lightly packed. And I'm going to cream them. That's flavors we're, that we're using right and these recipes are kind of geared to either uh, having a party and uh, or giving breads at Christmas or Christmas morning for breakfast so now the margarine and the brown sugar have been uh, creamed and I'm going to add one large egg a teaspoon of vanilla extract and of course the best is to uh, have the real vanilla. And one tablespoon of grated orange zest. And it takes about two good size oranges to get enough zest for one tablespoon. I'm not using all this at this point because I want to add some to the cream cheese I'm going to put together later. And we mix that up. Smells good, doesn't it? The orange zest. Mm, smells good. Yeah. Okay. Now 
now in a separate bowl. I've got two cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Wait a second here. Hold on a minute. I'll give you it. What I did was I got the, my one teaspoon wet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. One teaspoon, two teaspoons of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then I have a mix of one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves, which I'm going to add, and then one teaspoon of salt. I think I'm all done with that. Thank you. And then we want to mix that together. For some more liquid, I want three quarters <coughs> of a cup of orange juice, whether you squeeze uh, your own from the oranges you took the zest from, or you have orange juice on hand, three quarters of a cup. Can we bring back the uh, brown sugar and margarine, and we're going to alternately add these the flour and the orange juice to this mixture. Let's see if I can make a mess with One more couple of times. Okay. Add your about half of it. That's right. Okay, we'll finish it up. Okay. You can pour in the orange. All of it? Yep. Okay. Thank you. I smell very good. 
good though, that orange zest. Mm. Doesn't it? Yep. And the orange juice, hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have smell of vision. <laughs> okay, time to add the dates. Liquid and all, if you have any. And three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans. Or walnuts if you prefer. Mix it all up. Mm, that smells good. Okay. The pan, uh, this can be about eight and a half to four and a half inches or whatever you have in, you use for a loaf pan. This is going to bake at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. into the oven and we'll be making the cream cheese later but right now we're going to go back to Gordy and she'll start her. Okay today I'm going to be making a spiced pumpkin cheesecake. Uh, I made one this morning and it was supposed to be made out it was made out of uh, ginger snaps. I put them in my um, food processor and it jumped right off the counter where they were so hard. So this time I'm cheating. I'm using graham crackers. And in here I am going to put a quarter of a cup of margarine. I have a cup and three quarters of um, graham cracker crumbs. And I have a quarter of a cup of real fine um, pecans. And I'm going to mix that together for the crust. Those ginger snaps were so hard, my um, food processor blade wouldn't mash them up. Very good. So as I said, I cheated. I'm using graham cracker crumbs. And this is what it looks like before it goes in for the crust. And you take a cup and you just flatten it down like this. You want it in a pan that you can take out. This you can flatten your, um, your crust and you can bring it a little bit up on the side with a cup like this, which makes it, makes, makes it much easier. And you just pat it down to make sure that it's nice and firm. Okay, there's the pie crust. <clears throat> okay, in my bowl, I've got a quarter of a cup of sugar. This time I used um, Splenda. And I have four packages of cream cheese, softened. I'm going to mix these together. 
and cream these together. To this, I'm going to add a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. messy already <laughs> oh well okay and to this I'm going to add four eggs a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're going to mix this all up. This is a very easy cheesecake put together. Only if you don't use ginger snaps. Pour this into my crust. Smooth it all out so it's nice smooth on top so it will bake evenly. You put it in a 350 oven for one hour and 25 minutes. Okay, time that. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back momentarily. Well, we're back for a few minutes here. Uh, this is to uh, top off my uh, date nut bread, some cream cheese, that uh, six ounces, and I've had it at room temperature for about four or five hours now. It's pretty malleable, but uh, to this cream cheese I'm going to add a third of a cup of sugar um, this I'm I'm using Splenda so I may not use as much as you're using regular sugar this is going to be an orange flavored cream cheese add a little bit of fresh orange zest to it also And if you think that it's you need it a little smoother, you might add a little bit of a few drops of orange juice. Because when it, you put it in the refrigerator, 
and then you take it out to spread it on the bread. It's going to be thicker, of course. So let's take a little, see if it's... Ina does this, she takes Sure she does. That's okay. So that's, um, if you use the Splenda, don't use uh, a whole third of a cup of sugar. And then uh, flavor it with some orange zest and a little bit of orange juice, a few drops. So this will go with our uh, date nut bread. And how about you, Gordy? You I'm all ready to go. An appetizer for a party. Okay, this is um, a bacon cheddar cheese uh, pinwheels. And you take a, car, um, a roll of crescent rolls. You take them out, and hopefully you'll get them out without too much of a problem. And you um, push the perforated lines together. And after that's done, you take some ranch dressing. And spread it on your crust. That looks like it's covered pretty well. Okay, after that, you take some very, very f fine cheddar cheese and put that on your roll. I, I mean, I'm sorry, on your crust. Next, I'm going to put some green onions on here for our green, for our onion lover. <laughs> well, we won't have to worry about him eating our appetizers. No, he doesn't then. like. He doesn't like onions. <laughs> Seems like everything we make has got onions in it. <laughs> Chew is right. It's stinky, isn't it? Those are real stinky. And on top of that, you can spread um, a few little bacon bits, or you can take four pieces of bacon, fry it, and crunch it all up and put it in here. But this is, this is a little easier this time. Anything that's easy is fine. It's good. And you take your, your end here, and you start to roll it up. Hopefully, they'll come together like it should. Be very careful that the perforations don't come apart. Because we can't seem to get the full sheet anymore. Can't seem to. Well, I've looked. They pro they may have it at Stop and Shop, but they don't sell it at Price Driver. Oh, that's coming off. Try to get it up there as much as I can. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. I take a serrated knife and cut these down in pinwheels. And put them on your sheet. You seam down. Now let's stick that on top of there. I'm cutting on this counter without anything underneath it. John, it's okay. <laughs> Do the other one the same way. I 
Now that went together better than the other one. Get the seam over here. I better not say anything. <laughs> These will cook for how long, Gordy? These will cook for between 12 and 17 minutes. At a 350 oven. 350 oven. They stay together sometimes. When they all cook up, they'll be all. They'll be all squashed out. They'll be all puffed out here. Hopefully, look. Okay. So I'm going to put these in a 350 oven for, I'll say, 16 minutes. We'll check them in a while. Okay. When we come back, we'll be at our table with our finished products. We're back at our table, and today we made... Um, so, uh, I made a pumpkin cheesecake, and I made some hors d'oeuvres, uh, cheddar cheese um, pe um, pinwheels, and the, um, this is made with uh, ginger snaps and pecans and melted butter for the t for the crust. And there's cream cheese and pumpkin and pumpkin pie spice and um, all the good spices that we have during this holiday. And for my um, cheddar cheese puffs. Uh, you take a can of um, crescent rolls, you um, roll them out, and you um, make sure all the perforation is closed. And on top of your each of your section of your rolls, you um, spread some um, ranch dressing, and you put on some ch nice fine cheddar cheese, um, some um, green onion, and some bacon bits, and you bake them for about... 12 to 13, 14 minutes, and back to Nancy. Well, the thing that I made today was another <laughs> bread. Hopefully, this one looks much better than one I did the uh, last week. Uh, a good date nut bread for Christmas morning, uh, giving to friends at Christmas, and along with it uh, is a nice uh, flavored cream cheese that I added some orange zest and sugar to and a little bit of orange juice because the uh, date nut bread has uh, orange flavor to it. And these are all recipes that would be good for the holiday season for different occasions. And hope that you all have a nice holiday. And if you'd like any of these recipes, you can send a self-addressed stamped, stamped envelope to Dalton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Massachusetts, 01226. And the next time we see each other might be the new year. Happy Holidays. <laughs>